DC to DC solid state relays are not nearly as common as are the DC to AC variety. I did a fair amount of shopping to find any that were anywhere near my price range. So I admit that I bought the cheapest ones I could find that said they could handle at least 40 amps or more at the 48 volts DC that I need. I bought two 100 amp units rated up to 60 volts DC. I also bought a couple of 40 amp units for about the same USD $11 to USD $12 that did work at their rated specs. By the way, I would never use one of these without a good heat sink. This 100 amp DC to DC solid state relay seemed to work okay at 6 amps, at 12 amps, and 20 amps at 48 volts, but failed with a 40 amp load while driving a Chinese 2500 watt ZVS induction heater at those currents. It failed shorted. Once the thing failed, I took it apart assuming that its MOSFET had failed. I thought that I might be able to replace that MOSFET with a better one like the IRFP 260Ns that are used in the Chinese ZVS induction heaters. I won't go into details about getting the thing apart since there are plenty of those teardowns for the AC models out there on YouTube. Okay, now for the surprises. There aren't very many components on the board and none that I could see for inductive kick suppression. The little chip down here is an H11D1 optocoupler. No surprise there. Here I see an active device labeled A1009. It's a 2 amp BJT, not a MOSFET. At first, I thought this was the output device, but it's not. It is glued to the board, but doesn't contact the base at all for heat dissipation, by the way. Then I realized that the output device must be located underneath the PC board. Here is the switch. It isn't even a MOSFET. It's a C4110, which is a 25 amp BJT. Wow, a 25 amp transistor in a 100 amp SCR, not cool. Oh, by the way, even though there's a screw hole here, so you could reach through and screw the, that output transistor to the base there wasn't a screw in the hole. But it appears that it was squeezed pretty hard between the PC board and the base, so maybe that's okay. Well, that's about all I need to know about this DC to DC 100 amp solid state relay. In closing, with a 25 amp transistor, acting as the switch for a 100 amp listed device, I can confidently declare this device a fake. My lessons learned? First, don't buy on price alone. Second, if possible, buy from a place that lists customer reviews and then read the reviews, like Amazon. I did buy this one from Amazon, these 100 amp units. And if I had looked at the reviews, I'd have seen that this particular product was a disaster just waiting to happen. Thank you for watching.